gotta respect a man. Cause if you don't, it's gonna be some bad consequences behind it. <laughs>
Well, you know, that's the South, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we had to show like, you know, you, you're on the outskirts of the city. You ain't you ain't in the city now. You 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 in Arkansas, across the bridge somewhere, you know, under the under, you know, around what in them woods, you know. You know, that's what they're gonna kill you. They're gonna kill you in them woods, they're gonna find you in them woods somewhere. They ain't gonna find you nowhere in your neighborhood. Cause see, back in the day, like for real, for real, like in my neighborhood, somebody would knock you off and they'll take they kill your body to Mississippi or Arkansas somewhere and make it like, you know, you got killed out there, which you didn't, to throw the police off. Like, that's what them people, that's what a lot of people were doing that. A lot of people doing that. Yeah. <laughs> they were killing people, taking them to Mississippi, burning them in Mississippi, and burning them in uh, Arkansas somewhere. That's crazy. So oh, man, they, that's how they were moving. They ain't, I'm gonna tell you how, I, like, like, right quick, like, out here they not calculated. I ain't seen them calculated like that out here now. But back then in my day, they were calculated, man. Real calculate. What do you think the difference is? Why do you think they put more thought into it then? They put more thought into it then because, like back then, you know, they 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 that's how that's how the people that was older than them was moving, and they would they would move like the older people because the older people they looked up to them they had the money. So, but see now, it's like what you got out here now is in the street right now, you got dudes. They went to jail. They got locked up. That was that was like that move like dudes when them in my time, but it was a younger dude. They end up getting out. He's the dude that moved like my time. He stayed locked up forever. The dude that got out was the driver. Now he the OG and the gangster, head gangster in the whole neighborhood, but he really was a do boy. So now. He, you catch him on the gram. He on the Facebook with the young dudes now. He all cool because he knocking off their little sisters. So he cool. You know, they bringing him money. He knocking off the little sisters. He the OG. So he don't care. He cool with it. And see, like, that's sad, though, man, because it's like, it's like now it's like a, it's like a ride up. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> it's like, it's like, and if I get caught, so what? <laughs> Hey, hey, one thing I do, I respect them young dudes because they very dangerous now and they got grown men guns. I ain't gonna, I never disrespect them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respect a man like a man because that's a man. And he might move like he moved, but that's still a man. Now. You gotta respect a man because if you don't, it's gonna be some bad consequences behind it. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, mm -hmm. looking back, what do you think is the legacy of the Mr. Don't Play? Everything's working cover. Man, uh, we, we, we like what part on? Well, I'm just saying, like, what do you think makes it so hard or, or a memorable cover for you? Oh, they trunk, man. Ain't nobody got that. They don't got that on no on no album. That's their trunk. When they see that, they remember that trunk. They like, hey, yeah, man, yeah, somebody in the trunk on there. Like, I remember that, man. That joke was crazy. That's all they gonna remember is that trunk. They gonna remember that scully I had on in that trunk. <laughs> What about, uh, I meant to ask you too when we were talking about it, what about making it see-through instead of having it open? Well, I think, I, I don't know. I think that was the um, the dude who ended up doing the cover. That's how he did it. So we just like, it's cool. We left it like it was. But see, you know, you know, having it open would have been cool too, though. But, you know, just, just to let you know, you know, it, got, it was a little animated, but, you know, you know, if you gonna, if I would did it now, two thousand twenty one, I'd left it open. Yeah, <laughs> I left it open so you can see. I think the uh, the message definitely got across, though. No, no confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it did what it's supposed to do, man. Well, there it is. Thank you for coming through, Project Pat, for Cover Store, man. We appreciate it. Hey, man, much love. Be sure to check out the History of Gangster Rap by Soren Baker. He's official. History of Gangster Rap features exclusive interviews with Ice-T, Snoop Dogg, MC Ren, the DOC, and dozens of others. The History of Gangster Rap, a definitive look at how Los Angeles changed rap forever. In Los Angeles, the streets definitely set the tone of the hip-hop music. I'm 19, I got a $50,000 car. My whole angle always was, I'll be street, but I will always tell you 
the horrors that go along with this life. It would be penalties and casualties for just wearing the wrong color in somebody's neighborhood. And once gangster rap made it from the streets to the TV, the genre exploded. What's that, Bob, on your TV basketball? Yo MTV, it just catapulted us from being local heroes to national gangbang rappers. The history of gangster rap discusses it all from 1980 up till today. There's always gonna be shit happening in the streets. You know what I mean? So it's always gonna be something to talk about. The history of gangster rap in stores now.